So, good afternoon and welcome to our fireside chat here at the MariaDB Foundation. With me here today, I have our fresh new board member, Xiang Peng from Alibaba. Welcome. Hey, nice to meet you, Kai. So, did I pronounce your name correctly? Uh, yes, it's perfect. So, that's, that's the way people have been calling my name when I was working in Silicon Valley. Okay. So where are, exactly are you based now? So uh, right now I'm based uh, in uh, the city named Hangzhou, which, uh, Hangzhou. which, yeah, which is where Alibaba uh, headquarters uh, is at. Yep, yeah, I've been there a number, number of times. So you're uh, an engineering director with Alibaba Cloud, and you're currently leading the engineering product and go-to-market efforts for uh, MySQL, MariaDB, and Postgres, but we will go to that later. Mm -hmm. I think you have a quite an interesting background from a MariaDB perspective, because you've spent six years at AWS as a software engineering working on Aurora uh, mm -hmm. MySQL in their California office. So what was that like? Um, to be frank, that was very intense. And the, you know, uh, in terms of the um, uh, projects, it's uh, it's exciting, but uh, at the same time, we always have very tight uh, deadlines. So it has been uh, um, kind of like uh, intense, but it's also very uh, rewarding. Uh, by rewarding, I mean it's. Uh, the technical depths that I was able to get to uh, in my projects, and also the you know the broadth of my uh, knowledge. So as you can see, I I literally grew my expertise in database uh, uh, for the six years while I was working at uh, AWS in the California office. Okay, and you also worked at uh, Oracle in the Redwood Shores office. So what did you work on there? Yeah, quite interestingly, uh, I was working in the optimizer group for the Oracle uh, database. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was a very uh, small team. And I believe the total, uh, the size of the team was roughly uh, 12 people. And uh, most of us are located in the uh, headquarters, the, the, the building of 400, very nicely uh, uh, beside, like next to the lake. So um, yeah, that experience has been ha has been my first job as a database kernel developer. So it's uh, it's uh, it's basically it's an entry job right after uh, I graduated from University of Wisconsin Madison. Yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, first job directly at the lake with uh, the, the sailing boat. That must have been cool. Yes, so, yes. So uh, you have a master's degree from, as you said, University of Wisconsin Madison. So you know the U.S. way of doing business and the Chinese. Well, I'm European, but I've been to both the U.S. and China many times. So are you happy being back in, in China? Uh, yes. So uh, in two ways. So first, uh, the, um, uh, you know, the uh, internet or also the cloud computing has been uh, booming in China. So uh, I can do lots of uh, uh, interesting projects that, that which I don't have the opportunity to do, to do in, the, in the States. So that's uh, one part. And for the second part is for uh, family considerations. So pre the COVID, um, you know, the international travel has been uh, smooth and easy. But you know, uh, after uh, COVID, uh, the like the the the, the simple things has been uh, very challenging all of a sudden. So uh, from family perspective, so uh, that's the second uh, uh, you know uh, motivation for me to relocate from uh, US to uh, China. Mm -hmm. So so let's look at at China as as such. So you obviously have no issues with the English language. And as a European, for me, it is important to serve the world in the language it expects, which isn't always English. Mm -hmm. Within Europe, German is the biggest native language, but I would say French probably have a higher demands on being dealt with in non-English. But there's still nothing compared to China. So I'm interested in your take on um, how MariaDB Foundation should deal with the Chinese language. And, and to be specific, I think uh, I see the MariaDB world being separated into suits and techies. Well, I try to be 
uh, uh, wearing a suit sometimes, although I look at myself as a techie. But anyway, mm -hmm. even in China, we see the techies fluently following technical documentation in English, but the, the managers wearing suits, they expect Chinese. So, so is that a correct perception? Um, I think that's uh, uh, almost uh, right. So, but I would I would like to put a little bit uh, uh, clarification on that front. So, um, you know, um, there is a, a very large um, uh, user community or developer community for MySQL and MariaDB in China. Um, I think that kind of started at. To sell around 2000, that's 20 uh, years ago, when Alibaba and Tencent, all those uh, uh, internet companies uh, were started. So uh, around that time, all of the database has been uh, almost uniquely to be uh, MySQL. So around that time, the user base and the developer base has been growing since then. And, uh, and uh, so I think that is the foundation for the MariaDB adoption in China. So back to your original question. So for the, for the senior managers, they were kind of like, uh, they, they, compared with uh, the younger generation or younger engineers, um, their education is, um, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, a little bit um, uh, slightly different from the uh, younger engineers. Uh, for the younger generation, they put a lot of focus on uh, uh, on English and also in international um, uh, exposures. And uh, so, for the younger generation of the engineers, they there has no difficulty for them to uh, read the documentation in English for MariaDB or MySQL. Uh, but for the you know for the senior engineers. They have been. It's always been a challenging for them to um, to be as flexible to English language as the uh, the engineers. So I think uh, what you have been um, uh, describing is uh, is roughly aligned with the reality in the business environment in China. But the things are has been shifting, has been changing uh, rapidly in the past ten years. Well, I think they are they are changing all, all, all over the place. So, so yeah. in 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 Europe, uh, you don't have to go back many decades, and you were truly expected to to deal even in in Germany uh, yeah. with, with the people in German. But what's then the practical consequence of that? What you're saying, like uh, for for Maria Divi, we just got a contribution by Hai Dong Ji with the uh, Chinese. Um, error message, Chinese language error messages. Now, those would clearly be mostly directed uh, or used by younger developers, I, I, would, I would assume. Uh, but still, I think that's a great win. So, so where, would you, where would you put the, the efforts uh, if you were, uh, well, you now are the board, a board member of MariaDB Foundation. So how would you guide uh, MariaDB Foundation in uh, where we should put our efforts to, to, to become uh, to better serve the Chinese market from a language perspective. Yeah, that has, uh, that. This is a very uh, good question. So uh, first of all, um, the current uh, uh, open source database community has been it's uh, it's really good for MariaDB. So look at uh, what uh, has been going on for MySQL. They put lots of uh, new features, but they are not open sourced. And MariaDB is much more uh, open than uh, uh, MySQL. And, uh, and from, from my personal perspective, uh, what we really should do is uh, we, we need to uh, grow MariaDB um, as, uh, you know, as a drop-in uh, replacement for, uh, for MySQL if, 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 uh, if these two products are going to divert uh, in the future. So that's number one. Uh, number two, we have been, uh, at least in Alibaba Cloud, we have been invested uh, um, heavily in open source databases. Uh, that includes MariaDB and MySQL. So we have, uh, we in fact have equally number of uh, kernel developers for both MariaDB and MySQL. And uh, we are looking to uh, contribute 
whatever fix or whatever new features we developed in um, uh, in MariaDB uh, back to the community. And number three, as I mentioned, uh, in the past 20 years, there has been uh, a um, there has been a lot of uh, growth in 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 China uh, that has uh, for MySQL. And uh, in my in my current team, we have two uh, engineers who were previous uh, members of the InnoDB team uh, in MySQL, and they have they even have their um, personal connections to the developers in Oracle MySQL and MariaDB. So I, I think uh, from uh, from from the, um, from my perspective, uh, I would I would I would uh, try to put more uh, efforts and also from the from the marketing perspective, um, where if the customer has been uh, you know when they are migrating their workload from on premiers uh, MariaDB, we are we are not. We are not uh, trying to persuade them to say, go and take a look at MySQL. Instead, we have been uh, trying to put lots of new features to MariaDB on the cloud uh, so that uh, customers who have been using MariaDB or using MySQL say, hey, you have a uh, option uh, which is MariaDB, cloud ser uh, MariaDB service on Alibaba cloud. So that has been uh, what we have been doing here in, um, in, in Alibaba. Very, very interesting. So, so uh, that, that's uh, related to a couple of questions that I have about cloud and Alibaba and, and all of that, but I would still like to stay a bit on this, shall we say, China in general or the Chinese language uh, question. That, that's a thing that's very difficult for, uh, for, for me or, or for us to, to have a proper judgment on. So you were describing, I was originally asking about how we can serve the Chinese uh, market better from a language perspective. And you, you, were, you were describing from a, shall we say, generic non-language perspective. So, so how important is it to have what type of documentation or web presence in China? And specifically, uh, also, we, we know about the, the, the firewall. So you probably have not so easy times as a, as a generic uh, MariaDB developer to access uh, our website uh, mariadb.org uh, or the knowledge base. So, so uh, what's your guidance there? Should we put a copy of, of the documentation inside uh, China? Should, should it be made available through probably your efforts uh, in, in Chinese? Uh, what are those kinds of very, very China-specific things? Because what you were describing would also benefit lots of people outside China. But I'm looking at specifically how to, to help the Chinese user base from, a, shall we say, accessibility and language perspective. Okay, uh, so I will answer that question from uh, two parts. First part, in terms of the language, right? Um, I don't think there is any uh, necessary to have a Chinese version for all the documentation for MariaDB. I think English is enough. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure English uh, reading ability and uh, uh, writing, uh, writing ability has been a basic uh, skill for an engineer uh, career in China, so the the the, the engineers are, sh or I expected to understand English, and I expected to read uh, English uh, technical documents. So that's uh, number one. And then number two, in terms of the um, you know make the documentation more easily uh, accessible by the uh, community in China, I think that has been a very good suggestion. So um, so first of all. Um, it's not it's not the way that uh, there's a firewall that block you uh, block the users accessing uh, you know the MariaDB um, uh, website from China. Uh, in fact, there are, there are always been workaround and people have been doing that all the time. But the thing is, um, you know, uh, it's it's if you want if we want to um, uh, get in touch with a broad uh, audience. It's, it's always beneficial to have a, a mirror website in China where people can easily access uh, the website and they, need, they don't need to get around, you know, uh, whatever uh, blocking between, uh, between you know, uh, the China uh, internet and the, the, the on the outside. So, um, so that's, uh, that's, 
it's it's definitely going to help if we have a mirror of sight, and uh, and uh, and uh, for for the for especially for the um, you know uh, the starter engineers uh, in and in the tech industry and also for the students in university, I think I'm specific, specifically talking about the future MariaDB users and MariaDB developers. And if we can have if we can have that website there. And it's, it's, it's definitely going to, you know, uh, help uh, MariaDB uh, adoption in the future. Excellent, excellent. So, so uh, that's very, very valuable uh, comment because from our perspective, it is, it is not easy to know the answer. We have people with hunches. I'm talking to Monty very often about this and I've been uh, many, many times to China and I have a certain impression. So it's good to get uh, from the horse's mouth your 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 uh, uh, honest opinion about this. So so having a mirror in China is important. What about training materials? Would it be uh, there? There I, I I would have the conception that uh, having training materials in English is 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 good. But if there's something to be translated, I would rather translate the training materials than the entire documentation, which is three thousand pages. Exactly, exactly. So uh, I can talk about some personal experience in the past one year since I joined Alibaba. So we have uh, a user group for um, MySQL in China, and we also have a user group for um, PostgreSQL in China. I don't see a user group for MariaDB in China. So in terms of the, the training course or you know uh, a workshop, uh, I think that would be, uh, I would suggest uh, we try to establish a, a, a user group, MariaDB user group, like for example, Mark, you, you know, it's a very, very nice name. So MariaDB user group in China. And uh, just uh, have the organization, we, we, we of course, uh, we need to, um, you know, uh, attract the, um, uh, the, the people, uh, be it DBA or kernel purpose who are passionate about MariaDB uh, server and MariaDB product. And uh, we, let's just, uh, let's just uh, you know, grow the community. And then we have meetups uh, in different cities and, uh, and uh, in a regular schedule. So that, that, would, be, that would be my uh, suggestion. Uh, along, uh, like alongside the, um, uh, the training or workshop uh, uh, ideas you have in, mind, in your mind. Okay, so the, you would put the eggs into the, the you, so th you would do three things. One is a, uh, a mirror so that you have easy accessibility. Two, yes. you, would, you would do training materials in, in China. And, and three, you would put uh, effort into the user groups with, with uh, yeah. visits in, in various places. Yeah, in user, so like I said, uh, in terms of the, um, um, what uh, MySQL and uh, PostgreSQL um, users has been doing in China, the user group has been a very good model to, uh, uh, to do here, especially to try to, you know, um, um, uh, you know uh, attract the user base and also um, uh, help uh, more people to understand MariaDB and, uh, you know, like just to grow the, the community here. Mm -hmm. So how do you view physical presence? Now we still have a bit of a pandemic going on and travel is not easy. Uh, and also there's, there's a huge cost in, in, in traveling, uh, yes. both, both in time and, and, and in money. So uh, mm -hmm. how, how would you distribute the effort? I mean, I understand that some travel is good, but uh, we can also now with, with the pandemic, having taught everybody to be... Uh, present online. So how would you divide uh, the efforts here and how would you look upon it? When should we have a meeting in Chongqing? I, I'm still waiting to come to the city, which is very, very vertical. Uh, yeah. And how much should we do just a, a virtual tour? Um, so that has been um, a very good insight. So even within China, um, there are lots of meetups or workshops or uh, technical conferences that, we have been doing that online because uh, you know the local governments um, uh, sometimes have the lockdown or you know uh, doing something in order to prevent the um, uh, the virus spread so uh, i think before uh, the covid is um, um, you know is uh, is uh, 
it, it's gone. <clears throat> uh, online meetup would, I think, it would be the, um, uh, a, a starting point. Okay, well, that's that's very very clear. So um, you, let's let us now move to the cloud and Alibaba. Uh, I think uh, the question here. So you're an engineering director uh, within Alibaba Cloud specifically, and and you're currently leading. Uh, engineering product and go to market for MySQL, uh, MariaDB, and Postgres. So, what does that mean in practice? So, um, we have the uh, relational database service in Alibaba Cloud, right? And it's just a, a platform, and we are providing MySQL service, MariaDB uh, service, and the Postgres service to uh, our customers. And uh, and uh, in the past. Uh, the uh, our you know the users or our customers they have their own um, data center and they have their own um, um, databases uh, database process or database service running in their data center. So we have been uh, it's just a, much like what uh, AWS and uh, GCP and uh, Azure has been doing. We have our own RDS service and we have been uh, invest heavily to the open source uh, databases. That that is. Uh, MySQL, MariaDB, and the PostgreSQL. And uh, MariaDB has been a very unique uh, in among these three services. Uh, so in, as I mentioned, in China, most of the uh, internet company has been uh, growing alongside with MySQL. And this is different from uh, US or uh, Europe uh, technical community where people has been, oh, okay, half half goes to MySQL and uh, maybe half half goes to uh, you know PostgreSQL, but in China, uh, almost nine percent, maybe more than that, has been uh, using MySQL. Where MariaDB has a very uh, unique opportunity to um, to to just uh, you know get alongside with uh, MySQL. So uh, so that has been what we have been doing here in Alibaba Cloud. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I know that that cloud companies are fairly secretive about, about statistics and numbers, uh, but th it's also a very interesting question. So what can you reveal about, about statistics, like number of servers, number of users, anything that gives us a grip on, on, on how big this is? Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, thank you for your understanding. Yeah, this is, um, uh, this is uh, so what I can see uh, is um, MariaDB adoption rate has been fairly, uh, um, uh, le okay, let me put it that way. There is a great potential for MariaDB in China and uh, East Asia. Um, that, that, that's the only thing I can put on the table right now. Okay. Great potential for MariaDB. Excellent, excellent. So, so let's, let's exploit that. Um, um, what about, so then another technological question uh, that, that uh, I'm not sure whether it's, it's, it's touchy or not, but um, when, you, Try when, you, uh, when you develop stuff, how much do you devote the, your work towards developing the MariaDB server code base to sort of optimize it for the cloud and how much on the surrounding scripts like Kubernetes and, and, and such. So what's the, the engineering part of your work? Where does it end up the code? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, so uh, I would put it as 80% goes to the infrastructure where we do the you know, instance management and we do the Kubernetes and uh, we do this, uh, you know, the infrastructure, infrastructure uh, um, level of uh, uh, coding where uh, probably, um, you know, 20% goes to the um, uh, optimization bug fixes. You know, uh, sometimes we, we do hit bugs, which is not fixed in the community. Um, and uh, also uh, the, some um, handy uh, DBA uh, functions uh, where customers say, hey, I want that functionality. Can you just put it uh, in your database service? We sometimes mm -hmm. do that. So yeah, I think it's 80% versus 20%. Okay, so so on this eighty percent area, we, we have, we're doing nearly nothing in in the foundation. We're concentrating on the server, but we have started a project to 
to create a, a Kubernetes operator. So a, shall we say basic operator? And I, I, I imagine that the cloud provider, any cloud provider has lots and lots of operators and very much complexity there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so um, do you think that, that there's anything you can, I, I mean, I'm not certain that, that, that it would even be possible for you to contribute back your, your, your Kubernetes scripts. And I, I, I believe that those would, you, you wouldn't want to do that anyway, but, but is there anything you can do uh, from an adoption perspective for our side to, to guide us and work with us in, in creating, shall we say, a baseline uh, Kubernetes uh, operator so that people can, uh, can have a, use uh, MariaDB with Kubernetes? Yeah, uh, that is a very good question uh, here. So here, uh, here I would um, um, uh, say it that way. So what we have been doing here has been exclusively for the public cloud, right? We do have lots of, uh, uh, you know, foundation uh, infrastructures. And uh, what the, the, uh, the Kubernetes operator stuff that you have been describing is what the end users or uh, or uh, customers they want to do on top of whatever whatever infrastructure they might have. So it's um, uh, it's so uh, what I want to say is these two uh, different models are, are complementary uh, with each other. They are not they are not you know uh, replacement with each other. So um, in order to um, to um, increase the, the adoption or or make it more popular in the MariaDB community. Um, I think it's 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 good to um, to have that uh, um, the Kubernetes uh, um, or container uh, related the infra infrastructure for MariaDB. And uh, you know, just uh, we we can you know in 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 the training um in the training courses or the workshop we described there we just you know just let people know when you when you want to set up your marine service you can have this option to do that uh, yourself so that i think that would be my suggestion mm -hmm. good good uh, so getting towards the end of this this interview you've now been elected a, a voting board member of the MariaDB Foundation, and I am personally very much looking forward to, to working with you. Uh, um, so what are your plans uh, for, for this role as a board member? So uh, here, is, uh, uh, here is the three different points I have in my mind. So first, I, I would like to um, uh, try my best to work with the board and to make sure MariaDB is as open uh, as it as open as it is now, and I would like to keep it uh, uh, um, uh, that way. Um, so the, number two, um, I would like to um, use this opportunity to um, combine what we have been doing here in Alibaba and also what we have been doing in China, where we can increase the uh, you know uh, the uh, um, the popularity or adoption uh, um, uh, scope for MariaDB. And uh, third, I would like to uh, involve the developers um, in Alibaba to, um, to like contribute back to the community and grow together with the community. So that would be the uh, uh, three things that I, that I would do to, um, to make sure MariaDB is heading to the uh, heading to a health uh, direction. That is like music to my ears because all of those three things are very well aligned with the the, the mission as we have have stated it with with the openness adoption and, and continuity. So so with those words, thanks a lot for this interview, Shang Peng. Thank you very much, Kai. It was uh, nice talking to you.